<laughs> Just ahead, folks went to see basketball last night in Syracuse, but it appeared a hockey game broke out. We're going to have highlights of that hockey basketball game when we come back. <laughs> Things got a little bit out of control in Syracuse last night. The Orange Men were hosting the Cornell Big Red, and a big fight broke out, which may or may not have had anything to do with the fact that Cornell was down by 36 points at the time, and frustration flared. Here's the play, Ronnie Cycli. He gets a well, he gets mugged by Nate Grant. Cycli, of course, pushes him. Keith Hughes got into it. Then Greg Gilda and Derek Brower go at it, and Derek Coleman starts throwing punches, and he wasn't even in the game at the time. And watch Brower, watch the shot coming right at you. He will nail Josh Wexler. Turning around, here we go. There's the pop right there. The ref caught that one. Everyone's off the bench. Players had to be restrained. They're still throwing punches. Coleman, Brower, and Gilder were all ejected in Syracuse. Uh, by the way, if you're still keeping score on points, uh, one referee had it 95-59. <laughs> it was 95-59, the final. Cornell coach Mike Dement said it was unfortunate, and his team did not handle the situation very well. Syracuse coach Jim Beheim said, when people hit you, you tend to lose your temper. Gary. Well, tonight there is more college hoops. It's right here on ESPN, hopefully of not that type. <laughs> but it will be Villanova and the Connecticut Huskies. And we're going to go to Villanova right now, where I believe Raleigh Massimino is there with a couple of gentlemen.